Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the saucer for the Happy Teacup. I do apologize that I didn't have this out at the same time as the teacup. I ran out of time filming and I just wanted to get the um, the teacup and the teapot out at the same time and um, hopefully this isn't too far afterwards so that you guys can still make it. Um, I did not put a happy face on it because it's going the the teacup sits on it so you wouldn't see it anyways. But I think it just kind of adds a extraordinarily um, awesome amount of cuteness to the teacup to have a little saucer with it. So, But we'll get started here. Um, band wise it's 115 white and 32 purple for the edge here that I did. It is double banded. Um, they, you can kind of see the, it's not like a full wrap around piece, it's just the um, kind of the top portion. I was also playing with this earlier and I was, this is the way that I intended it to be because this is the top part that's on the loom. But I think that actually is cute this way as well, kind of cups it a little bit more, I suppose. I don't know. So either way, you can kind of make up your mind on that one. But we'll get started. It's one loom, wrong end towards you. And I need to make a saucer for this happy teacup. I'm going to make it pink. So we're going to start in the center of the loom. So right around the seventh pin up in the center. We're going to make a starburst, so from the center pin out to the six pins around, we'll take two bands all the way around. Like that. And then two bands for the cap band in the center. We'll wrap it around three times, so one, two, and three. Then we'll take our hook, go through the cap band, and pull back all of the bands underneath, grabbing the top two first. Just the top two. Top two back towards themselves. I'm going to do that all the way around. Then we'll do a row around, two bands, it's helpful if you place your bands starting at the same spot as I do so that when we expand um, you can just copy what I do and you don't have to kind of um, figure it out as much by yourself so like that, flip the bottom four. on all the pins. Like that. Push down. And now we're going to expand. So starting on the right side here, on the top right, I can just pick up the top two bands from this pin and bring them up a pin. So there's no crossing here whatsoever. And that's what we want. If I try to do that down here, if I just grab the top two bands and pull them down, they would cross and we don't want that. So when you have that happen, you have to pick up all four bands, bring them down a pin, and then bring the top two back so that there's no crossing of the bands. So like that. On the left side, for this one we have to bring all four back, then bring the top two back to the pin they were on. This lower one, I can grab the top two and just bring them down a pin. And then for the middle ones, just pick up the top two bands, whatever side they're coming from. So these ones are coming from the left over here. I just want to pull those to the left. So keep them on the same side. And the other ones, they're going to go to the right. And then the same thing up here in the other middle one. Grab the top two, see where they're coming from. Those are not the top two top two. They're coming from the left, so they're going to go over to the left, and the other ones will go to the right. So like that. Now we'll do a row all the way around. Two bands. So earlier my phone rings. Um, earlier is still like 
11 o'clock at night um, and I'm kind of freaking out because it's 11 o'clock at night and people don't normally call me that late and my son my oldest is at Boy Scout camp so I'm like oh my gosh why are they calling me at this time who's calling me what's going on um, somebody is he hurt what's who's calling me this late at night and so I'm dashing over to the phone which I had plugged in and charging somewhere and answer it and it's my son so like this you want to flip the bottom two bands all the way around and he's like hi mom I'm like yes are you all right what's going on why are you calling me at 11 what's are you okay he's like oh i'm good he's like i was just thinking um about staying longer at scout camp to do the counselor and training program and i just wanted to know if you were all right with it and i'm like okay well what is it all about and um, I th i'm like well, i think we talked about this last year but um so like this so now we're going to expand so we're going to expand the third pin up on the right side so what we have to do is we need to make some space for it so i'm going to grab these bottom bands on the right pull them down a pin grab the next bands up pull them down a pin and then we want to expand this one but if i pull the top two down they would cross so we got to pull these down as well so once you get those on the pin Then you can just take the top two bands and pull them back to the pin they were on. So four, four, and then here we expanded to the two, two. So we're gonna expand again on the top right. So we can pick up the top two bands and bring them up. There's no crossing. So then coming over to the left, we wanna expand the third one down. So to do that, we need to make space again. So I'm gonna move back this first sec the second set and then right here we're going to expand but again we cross if we just pulled the top two so I got to bring all four back and then I'll bring the top two back towards the pin they were on so four four two two that's what we expanded and we'll come back down here to the bottom left and we need to bring all four bands down a pin and then bring the top two back like that so push those down so now what we need to do is we want to add our cap bands onto our um, pins which will be the decorative edge that is on our plate or saucer and what they are it's actually two bands but I'm doing it one band at a time and we just put cap bands on. So one band on the pin wrapped around one time. But you're going to do two of them per pin. And you want to do that all the way around. So for my son, I was like, um, well, what can you tell me? And he's like, well, I don't really know anything. Um, I'm not sure if they want me to stay here for the weekend and then... Um, I'll just do it next week because that's when it is or if I need to come home and like get you know do some laundry and get a few things and then come back on Sunday or um, I'm like I don't think it costs anything I think the room and board is covered when you're doing this so I don't have to pay for that and um, I'm like well that's good um, I'm like well I kind of need a little bit more information so you should like call me back tomorrow when you know exactly what you want to do or need to do so that you can do this. It's like, oh, okay. But it sounds like he's having a wonderful time, which is awesome. Um, he, mosquitoes apparently are not horrible this year is what he said. Um, he said, thankfully, the some of the different things that we got him for the bug control are working well. So it's not quite as miserable as the year before that way. He did say though that um, when I asked him, I'm like, so everything going all right? You haven't hurt yourself yet? And he's like, well, I'm like, what? He's like, well, I clotheslined myself. Uh, he's like, I ran into an actual clothesline and I scratched my cheek. Um, he's like, I don't think it's too bad. He's like, it's only like four inches and runs along my, kind of like my jawbone. I'm like, I'm like, you did have somebody look at it, right? And he's like, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's just kind of a scratch. I'm like, okay. I'm like, are you sure? So I'm like, last year you cut your hand with your knife you eating an apple and um, you should have had stitches, but they didn't 
think that it warranted stitches. And he's like, yeah, well, I think we're okay. I'm like, okay, kid. He's like, well, it'll be all right if it scars. It's not like it's a bad scar. I'm like, you might think that now, but as you get older, you might not think so. So once you've got all those cap bands on, we're going to do a row all the way around of two bands. So hopefully he did not injure himself too badly that way. But we shall see. Hopefully he gives me a little bit more information about his training thing because that would be a little bit more ideal than not knowing exactly what is going on. But he's having a good time, so that's really all that matters. I wish that I had been able to do those things as a kid, so I kind of live vicariously through them and push them to do the camps and all the other activities, so hopefully they don't get mad at me about it when they're older. <laughs> Alright, so row all the way around. So now we're going to do is you go in and you'll flip the bottom four bands from the row and then you'll flip over the cap bands that we put on, flip those over after. And you want to do that all the way around on every pin. And then some of them will, only, will have four to flip over and some will have two to flip over. Just depends if you're by where we expanded. So just so that we're leaving four bands, which is the main plate color, on the pins as you go around. But I tell you, calling me at 11 o'clock at night when your kids aren't home, it's kind of freaks me out. So it's hopefully you don't get any more of those calls or calls that late at night when my kids aren't or happen to be out doing activities. So it's also freak you out. It's about, about as bad as the time as the police officer when they showed up to my door at like 2.30 in the morning. That was enough to make me, my heart pound in my chest a little bit. So of course, I mean, I was still up looming and recording and doing all those things. and But the doorbell rang and I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, who's ringing my doorbell? And so I go upstairs and, you know, looked out the window first before I open the door because it's late at night and... Gotta be safe. But then I look out the window and there's a police officer standing on my doorstep. And I'm like, what's going on? Oh my god. My heart started beating super fast because, again, one of my kids was um, at a activity for scouts. And I'm like, this is not good. It's 2.30 in the morning. Why would they ring the doorbell? And just like freaking out. I almost didn't want to open the door. <laughs> but um, opened it and he's like, did you know your garage door is open? He's like, I'm like, my big garage door? And he's like, no, your, your side door there. I'm like, it wouldn't surprise me because my kids go in and out all day long. And um, it would not surprise me one bit if one of them left it open. He's like, oh, okay, so it's not out of the ordinary that it would be open? I'm like, no. I'm like, is there something going on? He's like, oh, no, no. I'm like, yeah, you would not ring my doorbell at 2.30 in the morning to see if, if I left my garage door open, unless there's something going on. So once you have that all flipped over, we're going to do another row all the way around with the two bands. And he never did actually tell me, which kind of highly annoyed me, but um, he just kept assuring me that everything was fine. But I do know that for the past, uh, back then, it's been a little while since this happened, but that there had been some burglaries of garages um, in a county over, so I don't know if there was something going on with that or something similar to that. But yeah, that, that's enough to make you freak out to have them on your doorstep. Because I know that when I was working as a police officer, I never would have um, probably just opened or rang the doorbell or something that late at night just to tell them their door was open in their garage like that. 
Then flip over the bottom four all the way around. When there's too many other likely reasons why their door would be open unless there was some other situation going on, which is what I think there was. But, you know, but yeah, enough to freak me out. So, but the kid is good. He's having a wonderful time, so that's what matters. And he wants to stay longer, so that's a good sign. So like that. I'm going to kind of loosen these up here, tuck these over. So what we want to do is we want to close this and to do that I'm going to start over here on the left side on the bottom and what I'm going to do just push them down you have your top two bands and then you have your bottom two bands so what I want to do is go through the top two bands grab the bottom two bands pull them up through the top ones and then I'll bring them back a pin and put them on there so that pin we just went on to, we're going to go through the top four bands, grab the, grab the bottom two, pull them up through, and then go up to the next one, and we keep doing that around. Go through the top four, grab the bottom two, pull them up. You want to kind of try to make sure that you have the, um, you want to make sure that you have at least one of the bottom bands when you're doing this, because otherwise it might fall apart when you take it off the loom. But you're just going if they look pretty nice and looks like you have the top two bands that you're pu putting your hook through and then you're grabbing the bottom two you should be fine and then when you get to the top here do the same thing go through the top four grab the bottom two and then you pull them over to the right side and then you have to kind of loom backwards towards the beginning you still go through the top four grab the bottom two pull them up and pull them back now towards you to the pin and then you just keep doing that through the top four bottom two down to the bottom here. Do the same thing, go through the top four, grab the bottom two, pull them up through, and then pull them back over to the pin we started on. So now our only open point is right here on this pin. So what I'm going to do is take my hook and remove all the bands that are around the other pins except for where it's open right here. probably want to unhook some of these from your pins they like to get stuck just make sure that your open one does not pop off so now what we can do take your hook put it through your open part take it off the loom so you have the four bands here I'm going to actually do a slip knot with the four bands that are left so I'm going to take the two that are closest to my hook end pull them through the other two and then I'll go over to the next little teardrop shape or triangle shape, put my hook under there, pull a band through everything on my hook, make another slip knot, and that should be secure. So then you can take your saucer, stretch it out. I need to kind of 
untuck some of your cap bands if you need to. But you want to get it back into the the circle shape it's meant to be because you're making it kind of um, rectangular on the loom, I guess. So like that. Hide your tail. You just keep stretching it out as you need to. You might even have to go like back in the center and pull those towards each other. Um, but it should turn out nice and round for you because that's the pattern that I made. Like I said, I intended for this part to be the top, but I actually kind of like it when it's um, flipped over too. I think it kind of looks cute that way as well. But either way, you would like it up to you but again I apologize that I didn't have this out the exact same day as the happy teacup itself um, doing the best that I can and I hope that this is out soon enough for the rest of you so that you can make it if you want to I want to thank you guys very much for watching I definitely appreciate it um, I'm always trying to work on new stuff that I hope that you will enjoy but I just want to thank you again if you make some of these um, definitely share them with me on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic, or on my Facebook page, which is Feeling Spiffy or Crafting Fantastic. And then, of course, it would be fabulous if you would subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up as long as well as my other videos, too, because I really appreciate that. It kind of makes um, it so that other people can find my videos, too. So, But thanks, you guys. I really appreciate it, and I will have more for you soon.